Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to handle frames and iframes in Selenium. What is a frame? A frame enables a developer to split the screen horizontally or vertically. For example, this is a web page, right? So you see here, when you inspect the elements, something got highlighted, right? Navigation bar. So this is one frame. And you see title bar, right? So this is one frame, horizontal frame, though we should not call it as horizontal and vertical frames. So for, just for our, our understanding, I'm highlighting this and saying by that name. So you can see this is one frame, this is another frame, and you can see this is a different third frame, right? So this page itself has like split into three different frames, right? And if you observe, slowly scroll down here, and you can see frame set and frame other tags, which are used to actually build this frames, right? But frames, frame, set, frame and frame set tags are deprecated as they are no longer supported by HTML5. Iframes are supported in HTML5 and iframes are also known as uh, inline frames. They are mainly used to insert content from external sources. For example, so you see on the right side, right? So you see some advertisements here displayed on the on this web page so right click inspect so if you inspect this advertisement slowly scroll up and you, you can see here right iframe tag so this web page is uh, developed using html5 and you can see the tag iframe here right so this frame is developed using this iframe tag right and if you observe, so iframe is a tag used in HTML5 to embed an HTML document within the parent HTML document. So if you scroll, slow, slowly scroll down, you will see an HTML document here, right? But this is not the start of this web page, if you observe. So usually HTML tag will be the start of the web page, right? But if you observe, so this is not the start. So the parent HTML tag is here, but within the parent HTML, so this is the another HTML document embedded within that right for the iframe so this is all what we need to know about frame and iframes now let us see an example so i will open selenium java documentation here and you can clearly see here it is split into three different uh, screens right so these are three different frames just inspect this you will come to know i am into this uh, packages right so first let me explain this is the packages uh, frame right so you have all the selenium packages here and if you select any of these packages right so the related interfaces and classes of that packages will be displayed in this in, uh, in this frame right so and if you select any of these interfaces here right the description of it or the overview of uh, this interface or class whichever you select in this frame will be displayed on the right hand side as you can see here right so you can see overview package class like this all the other options now what we are going to do is we are going to automate this one like uh, we we are going to click any of these packages here and select one of the interfaces or classes here and then we will select in this third frame right so these are actually divided into three frames so in the third frame or on the right hand side frame so we will select one of these links so we will select index or help let's say for example help right so this is what we are going to automate now and for that let's actually inspect this i'll show you right inspect let's call this package frame and you slowly scroll down you see this it is again like as we discussed it is embedded within an html parent document so this is also an html document which is embedded within the root html document right and let's hover on this and you see the iframe here Yeah, you can see it here. This is an iframe, right? And you see iframe has some attributes. It has name, it has title, it has source, right? So it uh, uh, this is one iframe. Now, if you hover on this second iframe where it has an interface and classes, so you can see it has a different name. The first one was package list frame. This is package frame, 
and to have some title, all class and interfaces. Likewise, we have this third frame where it has a different name. It is class frame, right? So these are the three different frames we are going to like uh, work with and uh, automate this now. So let me open my Eclipse and you can see I'm setting the Chrome uh, executable path here and created a WebDriver instance, instantiated it to the Chrome driver as I wanted to launch the Chrome browser and just maximize the window. Now we'll navigate to this Selenium Java documentation. And what we'll do is we wanted to click on that driver dot find element. So we wanted to click on this. Let's click on this uh, arc dot open keyway dot selenium. So let's select the first one here. As you can see, this is a link, right? So we are going to use by dot link text. And we wanted to click on that link. So let's use click method to click that. And I'm not going to uh, write the driver dot quit as we wanted to look into the web page what's happening. So let's execute the program. And if you observe, we got we got an issue here, right? So let's see what's a error. So it says no such element exception, but you, you know, uh, we do have the link text, right? So why we are getting this error is, it's not able to identify this uh, element, this element link text uh, in, in this frame, because it is a frame. It's not like a normal uh, web element within this web page. It's a link text present within the frame. So first we need to switch to that frame. And how are we going to switch to that frame that we are going to see now? driver dot switch to is a method dot frame and you see frame ha is uh, overloaded here and has like uh, three types like it can take either index as the parameter name or id as the parameter or we can pass web element to the frame method right so let's use three of them as we have three frames here i'm going to use name for the first time and what's the name of the first frame so let's inspect this and see you see name here right either name or ID, e either of them can be used. I'm using name here, right? Driver dot switch to dot frame. So we switch to the frame now. So we are into this frame now. Now that web element is visible to the web driver and it should be able to click on that. So let me, let me execute this program. So you see it got clicked and you see the related interfaces and classes got displayed here. You can clearly see that, right? Yes. Next, what we'll do is we will actually select one of these interface or classes. Let's select this interface web driver here. So again, web driver is a link text if you observe, right? Driver dot find element. This time, what we'll do is we need to switch to the frame, right? Second frame. This is a second frame. Switch to dot frame and you see this time we'll use we are going to pass web element so we already used uh, name right name of the frame so this time what we'll do is we'll uh, find the frame using the web element and we'll pass that as the parameter to the frame method right for that what we'll do is driver dot find element and go back inspect this frame and we should see this is the frame, right? So what we'll do is we use, let's use selector sub and get the path for, path for it. We can just select ready to X path by dot X path. And find element actually returns web element, right? So you can see it returns web element. So let's capture that into web element. I'll call this as maybe just frame two. And we'll pass this frame to the, to the frame method as we wanted to use uh, frame method by passing the web element, right? All right. 
and once we are switched to the frame right frame 2 then we can actually click on the web driver find element by dot link text and what's the text of it web driver right web driver interface you can actually select or click on any of these links i'm just selecting web driver here right dot click dot click execute Okay, let's go back. And if you observe, it just says no such element exception. So if you observe, what did what did we do? We switch to the first frame. Fine. We were able to click on the this link, first link, arc.openq.selium. Fine. We also got if you observe. So this was the page opened by by the program just we ran, right? So this was the page, and you see it it was able to click on this, but it uh, it was not able to uh, web driver was not able to click on this web driver link. So that's what it says. That's the error it says, no such element exception. And if you actually click on this, it actually highlighting this one, right? So it's not able to find the frame, second frame. It's not able to find the second frame. Why this happened? Let me explain you that. So let's assume this is a web page and we had two frames, right? And there was a third frame as well here. So this frame was called as uh, some packages, right? Here we had packages. Here we had some interfaces or classes, right? So we had interfaces and classes. Here we had some description. These are the three frames we had. So what happened now was we were successfully switched to this package frame, but where were we before uh, switching here, right? So this was the main page we call this as main page. And within this, we have the frame, package frame. Uh, for simplicity, what we'll do is, we'll call this as first frame. And, you know, we'll call it as second frame, this one, third frame, right? So what did we do? We were able to switch to the first frame in the first place, right? Then we were able to click on some element within this first frame. Now we are into the first frame and trying to switch to the second frame by from the first uh, frame right so but this first frame have no clue about the second frame it can only identify the elements within it it doesn't have any information about the second frame that's the reason we got the error so what we need to do here is we are in the first frame so from here we need to come out to the main page then from the main page we need to switch to the second frame right so main page uh, has the information about all the frames and the same applies for the third frame as well so once you are into the second frame and you wanted to switch to the third frame you can't directly do that as a second frame has no information about the third frame so again what you do you again come back to the or you switch back to the main page and from the main page we switch to the third frame so this is what we need to remember when working with frames this is very important right so let's go back What's the mistake we did here? We need to, we, we are trying to identify the frame two, right? Before that, we need to switch to the main page. Actually, we will not call that as main page. It's a main page, but the method here we use is default content. So switch to dot default content. So just map the main page with default content. So we, we are back to the default content and then we are trying to identify the frame two. Then we actually switch to the frame two. Within the frame two, we have the web driver web driver link right so we are trying to click on that so i just executed it you can see it now on the left side so the first frame yeah now you can see it clicked on web driver as you can see on the right side it actually gives the interface web driver information right and you can see there are no exceptions so this is the main thing we need to remember when we are switching from one frame to another frame now we need this again we wanted to switch to third frame right so we are into second frame and we wanted to switch to the third frame what we need to do first we need to go to the main page so for that we'll use switch to dot default content then what we'll use is driver dot switch to third frame switch to dot frame so we already completed using like frame name and uh, web element right so this time we'll use index 
So let's use index. And how do we calculate the index? I'll show you that. Right click inspect. So if you observe, this is one frame. This is the second frame. I'm just minimizing the frames here. This is the third frame. So these are the three frames. One iframe, package list frame, package frame, and then let me collapse this. So you can see clearly now, right? So this is the first frame, package list frame, second frame, package frame, third frame, class frame. So these are the three frames now, right? We which we saw, right? Which we already automated these two. The third one, we can actually directly use the name class frame, but we already saw that example, right? And we can use actually web element. You can take help of selector sub, take the uh, relative x path and pass it as to the frame method. But we wanted to use index. So how are you going to calculate indexes? You can see the order here, right? From top to bottom, you need to calculate the index ourselves. Like package list, what we are interested to get class frame, right? So you need to count package list frame, one, two, three. It's a third frame, right? But index actually starts with zero. So you, sh you should count it from zero, zero, one, two. So it is the second index from top to bottom. So we need to pass the parameters two as the index is two for the frame, classes frame, right? So just pass two here. Now we are into the frame two or the class frame. Now we can actually click on any element within that frame by dot. What I'll do is again, I'll use link text and let's actually click on help. You see help here, right? So this is also link text. So I'm just interested to click on that link. We got the information of web driver and it also clicked on help. So by default, it was in class, you know, it actually clicked on help, right? And you see there are no exceptions. So just to summarize what we did. So we navigated to the website and uh, we switched to the frame. First thing we need to remember is when we wanted to work with any element uh, within the frame, we need to switch to that frame. And uh, we, we understood like frame is overloaded function and overloaded method. And it has like uh, three types. We, you can either send a name, you can either send a web element to it here, web element to it, or you can send the index to it, right? So, and the main thing, first we need to switch to the frame and then we can use like uh, how we inspect and identify the element that we can use then with, when we are within the frame. And the most important part is when you wanted to switch from one frame to another frame, you, we need to switch back to the default content. That is main page, right? Default content. And then you need to switch to the next frame. So this is very important. So this is what we have seen. And uh, this is how we handle frames or iframes in Selenium. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.